Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and I'm super excited to talk about SQL aliases in today's video. So let's move ahead and explore about this SQL alias of column or for columns. So in our previous video, we discussed about SQL aliases for table name. In this video, we are going to discuss about SQL aliases for columns. So SQL aliases are used to give a table or a column a temporary name and it is often used to make column names more readable. In your day to day life there will be hundreds or thousands of columns in a table and you might need to select only few columns but then those column names might not be easy to read or it might not be easy to pronunciate. So what you can do is that you can create an aliases for those columns so that it can be easy to read and easy to understand for the other people as well as for you when you will run that query after some days or after some months. So let's go and see how we can create aliases for a column. So we have our table which is subscriber base. We will be using that table only. So we will write select star from email underscore data dot subscriber base. And now if I run this query, you will have the list of all the columns, right? Now suppose you do not want to put this first name, last name, product A, product B, product C and product D as the same name that the table has or what you want to do is that you want to rename all of those columns in your result set, not in the original data set but in the result set. So what you can do is that you can write something like this, select first name as fn then what you can write is that last name as ln product underscore a as a and let's copy this product a because the rest of them is something like product a b c so i'll just replace this a with b this a with c this a with t similarly as b c and d so the way we create aliases is that we'll as keyword after the column name and then we'll give the temporary name and now if i run this query you will see that all of the those columns which were present in the tables has been renamed in your result set so the first name is renamed as fn the last name is renamed as ln product a is renamed as a product B is renamed as B, product C is renamed as C and product D is renamed as D. So this is how basically you use or you create an alias for columns in a table and this is mostly useful when you are joining multiple tables or it's very difficult to read the column name as the column names are big or not very readable then these aliases are very useful. So. If you want to understand more about SQL or learn more about SQL then you can click on the right side of this video or if you want to learn about Excel then you can click on the left side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.